So before you give birth, well, you've got to buy the crib, you're going to need the car seat, and it all adds up. So here to start helping you save for baby is Jason Armstrong from Community America Credit Union. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So Jason and I were just visiting, and Jason, you are very familiar with how much it's going to cost because of your own family. Exactly. We had four, and we uh -huh. had them fairly quickly, and I had twins in the middle, so we know all about these costs. Yeah, and they add up so quickly. They do. Were you surprised? I'm surprised by how much diapers cost. What are you? Very, yeah, very surprised. So you got to understand your situation because everybody's situation is different. Obviously, when we had our twins, it was double. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to know what's out there. So um, that goes all the way from your insurance costs, what your maternity leave might be, um, what your child care costs are going to be. So understanding your situation is the first key that you want to do is to make sure you're doing a plan that's going to fit your situation and your financial situation. And so this is really taking it from the moment you find out that you're pregnant? Or even before? Even before. Okay. I think the earlier you start, I know okay. with our first, we didn't start as quickly as we'd like to. Sure. Um, when we found out we were having twins, we started real quick. <laughs> we knew there was going to be a lot of cost. So you need to estimate your cost as well. So knowing what's there, and there's some tools that are out there uh, online that you can pull up to, to do that. But really the best way is to reach out to those that you know, your friends and some of your family mm -hmm. that have had children before, mm -hmm. and ask them what it costs them to get started. And how they manage it. So how do we manage these high prices? Well, and how you manage it is to re really strictly with anything that you do financially is to okay. set a budget okay. in place. So kind of knowing what you need to spend um, and, and doing that. So looking at kind of your finances, checking with your financial advisors, uh, checking with what you've got from your cost, and then just making sure that you put those plans in place uh, and then do a mock budget uh, where you do this well beforehand take those monies out that you would be spending on diapers and, wow. and uh, the, the cost that you have with having children mm -hmm. and put that away in the savings account and then label that account so that way you're not missing those dollars and you've saved up for those kind of things and you've made maybe a little trial run on what it was going to cost you. That's a great idea, a trial run so you can actually feel the pain of really having to give up some other expenses just to try to, you've got to have diapers, you've got to have the baby food, you've got to have the bottles exactly. and all of that stuff. So exactly. that's a really good idea. Have you seen people have success with this who've come in and they're just at their wits end and then and then they get into a plan and they can calm down. Definitely, because there's a lot of pressures and a lot of excitement as well as stress that goes mm -hmm. along with having children. So the more that you're able to kind of set this in motion early, the better off you're going to be. And use those technology that's out there. We have a ton of apps and everything at our fingertips that maybe our folks or mm -hmm. my grandparents never had no. uh, that's out there. <laughs> so you go to, those, go to those sites and look at those different things that, that you can pull from a technology standpoint. FinanceWorks, Mint.com, some of those apps and those things that are out there that allow you to put in a budget and really look at it from a technology standpoint. All right, Jason Armstrong, Community America, always some great ideas. Thanks for coming and help us save for baby. Perfect, thank you.